As part of this topic, we will be learning how to create Metastore tables using Catalog. Data frames can be written into Metastore tables using APIs such as Save as Table and Insert into Available as part of Write on top of Objects of Type Data Frame. We can create a new table using Data Frame using Save as Table. We can also create an empty table by using Spark.Catalog.Create Table or Spark.Catalog.Create External Table. We can also prefix the database name to write data into tables belonging to a particular database. If the database is not specified, then the session will be attached to default database. However, we can also attach or connect the current session to a specific database using this method. You can pass the database to which you want to attach the current session to. Databases can be created using spark.sql only. There is no API that is available as part of spark.catalog to create the database. However, we can list databases using either spark.sql or spark.catalog.list databases like this. We can use modes such as append, overwrite and error with save as table default is error. We can use modes such as append and overwrite with insert into. Default is append. While using insert into, if you want to overwrite the existing data with the new data from the data frame, then you have to set additional keyword argument called as overwrite to true. By default it is none, you have to set it to true so that the data in the table is overwritten by the data frame. That being said, when we use save as table, following happens. Check for table if the table already exists. By default, save as table will throw exception. If the table does not exist, the table will be created. Data from data frame will be copied into the table. We can alter the behavior by using mode. We can overwrite the existing table or we can append into it. We can list the tables using spark.catalog.list tables after switching to appropriate database using spark.catalog.setCurrentDatabase. We can also switch the database and list tables using spark.sql. Let's get into the demo so that you, you can understand all these aspects uh, with examples. Let's run this cell so that uh, the Spark session object is created. The Spark session object name is nothing but Spark. We'll be setting a property called as spark.sql.shuffle.partitions to 2 so that it will not use too many resources when we try to get data into the table. Even if you do not set for this example, it is fine, but it is a good practice as the resources on our cluster is limited. Let's run this so that this property is set. Now to seek the help on spark.catalog, you can actually use this approach if you are using notebook. If you are using CLI, you might have to use help function and you can pass spark.catalog to it. You can run this and you can see the help related to the catalog. It is not providing too much of information here. Probably it is better for us to say help of spark.catalog like this. Now you can see the details related to the class. There are several methods. We'll be exploring quite a few methods as part of this topic. Now let's scroll down. Before scrolling down, let me clear the output here and then let me go here. Let's perform few tasks to understand how to write a data frame into Metastore tables and also list them. We'll be creating the tables as well. The first task is nothing but create database by name demo db in the Metastore. It is demo underscore db. Let me fix it here. We need to use spark.sql as there is no function to create database under spark.catalog. In this case, I want to prefix the database with my username because this is a multi-tenant cluster. If you have your own cluster, you don't need to add this additional variable while creating the databases. Let me run this. It will take care of creating an object called as username. Username contains the value that is returned by this function. GetPass.getUser returns the user details that is used to login into the system. If you want, you can add another cell here and then run this username in this you can see that it is written in it varsity i have logged in into this uh, notebook based environment using it varsity which is nothing but a os user as well if you want you can validate by saying file new terminal you can see the username here now let's drop the database if it exists so it will actually look for it varsity underscore demo underscore db database if database exists it will be dropped along with dropping all the tables in it now i am creating the database refresh this will take care of creating the database by name itvst underscore demo underscore db. You can connect to the database using this command. Spark.catalog.set current database is the way to use spark.catalog and connect to the database. You can also use spark.sql use and then pass the database name to it. You can run spark.catalog.list databases to list the databases. However, this is a multi-tenant environment and there are way too many databases. It might take too much of time and hence I'm not running this piece of code. I am directly running this one. It will return the current database to which this session is connected to or attached to. You can see that it is attached to itvst underscore demo underscore db database. Now let's create a data frame which contain one column by name dummy and one row with value x. This will take care of creating a list with a single element. That element is of type tuple. That tuple have only one value which is nothing but this one. Using this list, I am able to create the data frame using spark.create data frame. I can pass the list as we have only one column uh, in this tuple. Uh, we are specifying the column name and the data type. 
so schema is nothing but dummy and string it will take care of creating a data frame for this list you should be able to list the tables by saying spark.catalog.list tables like this you can also preview the data by saying df dot show like this so as of now the data frame have only one value when it comes to catalog there are no tables in this database the database is nothing but it was underscore demo underscore db so we have the data frame now using that data frame we want to create a table while creating the table we want to copy the data from the data frame into the table for that we can use save as table if you want to get the help related to save as table you can run this the task related to this is nothing but create a table by name dual for the above data frame in the database created you can check the help on save as table it takes several arguments the first argument is nothing but table name you can specify the format if you do not specify the format it will use parquet file format when it comes to mode either you can uh, pass uh, overwrite or append or few other values you can actually scroll down and see what all options can be passed to mode either we can say append or overwrite or error or ignore the default is error which means if the table exists it will just error out you can also use partition by to create a partition table however we are not going to create a partition table at this time we'll be using only the name and we'll be creating the table you can run this piece of code to create the table in case if you want to overwrite you can uh, pass this additional argument called as mode with overwrite like this even if you do not specify this it will take care of creating the table for you because we do not have the table yet in the database let's run this it will take care of creating the table for us you can list the tables by using this piece of code now you can see additional table that is created in this database the table name is dual database is nothing but this one there are few other information uh, as part of the output now you should be able to preview the data from the table using spark.read.table you can pass the table name like this and you should be able to get the results like this you can also use uh, spark.sql and pass a query to it this will also return the data in the table uh, the column is dummy and uh, uh, the value in that column is only one which is nothing but x Earlier we have created the table using the data frame. Now let's understand how to create an empty table and insert the data from the data frame into the table. That is the next task. Let's drop the dual table which is already created. You can list the tables by saying spark.catalog.list tables. We have the data frame already. You can preview the data frame by saying df.show. It contains one column dummy, one row with uh, one value which is nothing but x. You can actually get the schema of this data frame by using df.schema like this. You can run this and you can uh, run this as well. Uh, schema is of type structure type. You can pass this uh, to create table to create empty table. If you want to get the help on create table, you can say spark.catalog.create table and then question mark like this. You can run this. You can see that you can pass the table name. You can also specify the path. In this case, we are not specifying the path. We have to specify the schema. Otherwise, we don't know what will be the schema for the table as we are not uh, using data to create the table. That's why we have extracted the schema by using uh, this approach from the data frame. We just have to pass this keyword argument with the schema and we are good to go. Now, if you look at the syntax, this is how it will look like spark.catalog.create table, table name, and then schema equal to schema. You can also say schema equal to df.schema directly. You can run this. It will take care of creating the table. You should be able to list the table by saying spark.catalog.list tables. You can uh, get the help on insert into. Insert into takes only two arguments. The first one is table name. The second one is overwrite. By default, uh, it is none, which means append. If you want to overwrite, you just have to set it to true. As our table is empty, I just want to get the data into the table using default. You can run this piece of code to actually get the data from the data frame into the table. It will be inserted into the table in append mode. Now you should be able to read the data from uh, table using this piece of code or this piece of code. You can see both have returned one value, which is nothing but x. Let's clean up so that we don't need to have this uh, unnecessarily occupying uh, our resources. If you want to drop the table, you can run this piece of code. If you want to drop the database, you can run this piece of code. If you wanted to drop both the database as well as table, you can uh, run this piece of code. As we have if exists in this case, even though database is dropped, it will just ignore. If the database exists, it will drop the database along with uh, the tables recursively within the database. This is how you should be able to create Metastore tables using uh, either save as table on top of data frame or you can create empty table using create table and get data into the table using insert into. And this is how you can actually get started with creating the tables in Metastore using data frame approach leveraging spark.catalog uh, attribute.